Hi everyone, I'm Karnika. Have you ever wondered if machines can grasp the rhythm of time? Today we're going to explore a concept called cyclic encoding, which is like giving machine a temporal compass to navigate reoccurring pattern hidden in your data. Think about all the things that repeat over time, like daily sales figure or monthly website traffic. These are called periodic functions. They are everywhere. But how do we capture this rhythm in a way that makes sense to our machine learning models? Typically, one might feed the raw data directly into the model, but this approach breaks the flow of time. Kind of like trying to understand a song by looking at each individual note. It misses the melody, right? This is where cyclic encoding comes in. Imagine wrapping your data points around a circle, like the numbers on the face of clock. It preserves the natural order and rhythm of data. Think of transforming robots' jerky movement into smooth words. But how do we translate data points into circle? Here's where things get cool. We use trigonometry, the maps of angles and triangles with special functions like sine and cos. The cool part is that sine and cos have a special property. Their squares add up to one. And this lets us create a position on circle for each data point. Think of it like hand on the clock. The distance from the center to the hand stays the same, but the angle between the hand and 12 o'clock tells where it is, like three o'clock, seven o'clock. Sign and cause act like tool to determine the angle based on the data point's position. First, we scale our data between zero and one, ensuring all the points fit nicely on a circle. Then we multiply the scale data by two pi to convert it into angles on a circle in radians. Next, we calculate the sine and cos of these angles, and these become our new data point, capturing the cyclic nature of our data. See how each data point finds its own spot on the circle, encoded by sine and cosine values. This allows the model to navigate the cyclic flow and connect different time periods. For those interested in coding, I will show the snippet of sine, cosine encoding in Python somewhere on the screen or in the comment section below. But don't worry, you don't need to be a math wizard to appreciate the benefit of this encoding method. The true power of sine and cosine encoding lies in its ability to boost the model's pattern recognition for cyclic data leading to more accurate predictions. It basically gives your model the amazing ability to decipher the rhythm of data world. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video.